very long time ago, when I was 17, I was on a trip to Scotland when I first saw these creatures as we traversed the highlands. I had never seen cows like this, not even in pictures, and I fell in love with them. With their long shaggy hair and their horns, they were the coolest looking cows. I had always wanted a farm, okay, more like a petting zoo, but the point is, I knew someday I'd have cows, and I always thought it would be super cool if they could be highland cows, but honestly, I knew nothing about them. I didn't even know if they had them in the States, so it was really more of a dream. And as my husband and I got more serious about populating our farm, I started researching cattle, and voila, highland cows near me. Right, Dahlia? Actually, I was initially looking into mini highland cows, and that was just so we wouldn't have to have extra space in the barn where the donkeys stay. Plus, they're ridiculously cute, right? But I did have concerns with trying to milk a mini cow, uh, as well as genetics and other things. Fast forward to 2023, and we found out that our neighbor's brother and sister-in-law raised highland cows. So we took a trip to see them, and it was a done deal. They had two pregnant moms that were due in early 2024, so I asked her to let me know when they were born. Now we just had to wait. In the meantime, we'd done a bunch of research to prepare, but you know, it's never 100% prepared. And during that time, my neighbor said that her sister was looking to rehome two females that had been born in 2023. It was these girls we had seen when we were there the first time. And while this meant we were gonna be taking on two cows close to a year earlier than we planned, it was really hard to pass up the opportunity since we did want two females and there was no guarantee that the ones that were gonna be born would be female. So after a lot of discussion, we decided to go for it. And that's how we got Miss Carolina, who's over there, and Miss Dahlia, she's my black Dahlia. They are now just over a year old and they've already grown up so much in the five months we've had them. They're bigger, their horns are bigger, and their personalities are huge. You're, ma you're making a liar out of me, guys. So Dahlia's super chill, and of course now we have Miss Carolina, and before you couldn't even touch her uh, without putting her head in the bucket, but now she is all about the attention and, and the treats, of course. They amaze me every day with how fast and playful they are. And I'm about to get trounced. Can you give me some treats? Hey, 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 hey! <laughs> they amaze me every day with how fast and playful they are. And my husband, who is, <laughs> grew up in South Dakota. <laughs> Stop! I'm giving it to you. He adores them so much. Um, he grew up with 100 head of cattle, and he said he never really got an opportunity to experience their personalities. So for him, this has been um, a, a really interesting experience. And even though my entire reason for wanting Highland cows was because of how they look, it turns out they're one of the easiest breeds of cows to own. They are great foragers, so we only have to worry about supplementing minerals year round and giving them hay in the winter. They are so docile, come here. That doesn't mean they're not spunky, but they make it so easy to physically take care of them. And of course they do require training, but they make it so easy and fun to do it. Calving is in general, come on. Calving in general is easy on them and they make great mothers. Uh, they're not really a production breed in the States as they're a slower growing cow and they don't produce as much milk as a dairy cow. But, but our goal here, other than giving them lots of love and treats, um, is to, our goal is to milk them when the time comes. It's gonna be another two years before that happens, so thankfully I have more time to plan and do research for when that day comes. Until then, expect to see a lot of shorts in my feed highlighting all of the ridiculous things that they do because it truly is never ending. And if you wanna see more of these cuties and our other homesteading adventures, be sure to like our videos and subscribe to the channel. It really does help us to keep doing bigger and better things that will hopefully help you to do those things 
you never thought you could do or would do. Until next time, thank you for joining me here on Tatertown.